but I'm delighted to be able to give you this update on the West Street project. We are extremely fortunate that we've been able to win this money from West Sussex County Council as part of their Kickstart program. And the remit for that money is to really give a boost to the local economy, to our high street, West Street. Uh, about three years ago we were able to um, secure some similar amount of funding along with what we put in as Horsham District Council on East Street. And we've really seen the benefits of what that has done to that particular street, bringing a further £10 million investment. So we're confident and optimistic that this money that we're able to invest into West Street is going to have a similar uh, effect. Uh, we're going to be investing that money into wayf a new wayfinding scheme and also looking at the paving uh, and just really bringing that right up to scratch. And also investing in some great street furniture and public art. It was great to see so many of you come along to our public exhibition in March. We had about 600 members of the public come in and tell us their different thoughts and opinions. And we're really taking those comments on board and incorporating them into the design. Hello, my name's Jill Buchanan. I chair Horsham Unlimited, the Town Centre Business Partnership, and manage Swan Walk. Um, I've been delighted to be involved in the West Street Project Board, um, making sure that the business views and the business needs um, are heard and that all the improvements actually benefit both the community, the shoppers and the businesses themselves. I think one key thing for the project for us is that the works that go on in West Street will be a central hub and hopefully like a pebble going into water the ripples will actually go out across the whole town centre and we'll see enhanced improvement, enhanced footfall, dwell time and most importantly spend for the town of Horsham at the end of the project. So we're very excited, look forward to seeing the new West Street um, in the run-up to Christmas um, and are delighted to be part of the board. Well, my name is David Moore, I'm the chairman of the Horsham Society and I've been involved in the West Street Enhancement project since the start. Uh, it's a very important project because I've li lived in Horsham for over 40 years and West Street is clearly in need of some upgrading to make it look more attractive to people. This project is an ideal opportunity for us to achieve a better environment for us, the people who live in the town and shop in the town. At the exhibition we had a very clear steer from you, the public, uh, that you wanted to go with a contemporary feel and really picking up on Horsham's history with a horse theme. And we gave you several options to do with paving and what that would look like and there was an overwhelming preference for a wave design going down the high street using a warm colour palette that would really fit in what we currently have. So thinking about the street furniture, you chose a contemporary design incorporating both wood and metal seats that have backs and arms um, incorporated into their seating design and style and comfort being a priority and also having enough seating and, and supply of bins but also keeping that in style with the overall feel of the street scene. The public feeling is that Horsham's rich history and heritage is particularly something that people want to see expressed and uh, there was a real favour in, in highlighting this historical interest in our wayfinding solutions across the, across the street and across the town beyond. So we're going to be looking at the area between Swan Walk and West Walk to enhance that area, both ends of the street, so that there's a, a timeless quality look and feel to West Street. The horseshoes will feature as part of the exhibition and these were well received and they, they considered a strong contribution to the overall branding and the wayfinding element of the street. You also very much supported an enhancing of the lighting in West Street and it's amazing what you can do with lighting in this day and age to make it brighter, safer and overall a more welcoming street. So we were looking at using some feature lighting to highlight certain elements in the street, including some of the beautiful architecture, some of the on-street, in-ground features that we're going to be putting in. We're looking at including some low-level planting in the street, uh, following a real contemporary design again, which was the steer that we had from the public, that really gives a feel of uh, airiness and lightness, but adds some colour to the actual street scene. 
We've really seen this as an opportunity for all the businesses to get involved on what's happening on West Street. So we've been writing to national and regional directors to see if they want to really do something additional to their shop fronts and to add in that extra uh, dynamic, if you like, of really having a fantastic result at the end of this project. We've received great feedback from the businesses and there's a lot of enthusiasm about what's going to happen as a result. My name is Melanie Wakefield. Um, I own Wakefield's Jewellers with my, along with my brother. We've been in Horsham now for a hundred and one years, something like two years. So I've been here established for a long time. Um, I'd like to think we're, we're, well, we are one of the only independent retailers in West Street, um, and we we love this street. Um, it's very vibrant. It's very busy, um, and it is one of the major shopping streets in Horsham. Um, I'm also director of Horsham Unlimited, which is the Horsham Business Partnership, um, and I represent many of the local businesses here um, in Horsham. Horsham, um, West Street is a um, very, very busy retail street, and it's probably um, the, I don't like to say premier, but it's certainly um, the main shopping street in Horsham. Um, it's very vibrant, busy, um, it attracts a mix of businesses, retail both, both retail and non-retail. Um, and we'd like to think it's a major artery really for Horsham, um, connecting Swan Walk through to um, the Forum, uh, which at the moment is, is it could be better, it could be a lot more successful, I think. Um, we'd like to really work on the success that East Street has had uh, with their, um, the redesign of the street and it's, it's welcomed a lot of private investment into the street and I think that, that we, we could do that here with West Street. I think it would be very, very successful. Um, the street needs it, it's looking tired and um, yes, it, it, will, it will work. Um, it will bring a lot of growth into the area. With our brands that we have here, we like to think that we attract quite, quite a number of, of clients that previously maybe wouldn't have shopped here. Uh, and I'd like to think that, that the street enhanced will do the same. As a member of um, Horsham Unlimited, um, we we are representing the businesses within the town, but we also listen to members of the public um, with their views on the conservation, the heritage, uh, and the image, really, the, the brand image that Horsham has. So I'd like to think that we've listened to that throughout the consultation period uh, for the street, because it's, it's vital that we do, and that we get everybody on board with this. Um, and that, that everybody is pleased with the result that we have. Um, it's, it's going to bring Horsham, take Horsham up to another level, which has got to be good for everybody, retailers, the public, it's an enhanced shopping experience for all, uh, and I think everybody will benefit from that. So we're looking at commencing the work in mid-August. Um, we anticipate that it's going to take about 12 weeks to really get the scheme rolled out. But obviously we're really uh, focusing on businesses and shoppers coming in that there will be minimum disruption as the work is taking place and to bring it to a swift conclusion.